Hello, in this video, we're going to evaluate a one-sided limit. So we have the limit as x approaches two from the right of the natural log of x squared minus four. Let's carefully think about this solution. The first thing you should try when evaluating limits is taking the number and plugging it in. When you do that, you drop the limit sign and you get the natural log of two squared minus four. You get the natural log of four minus four get the natural log of zero, which is undefined. So that doesn't work. You have to think about this uh, graphically. That's one way to do it. Think about the graph of the natural log of x. Here's the x-axis, and here's the y-axis. Graph of the natural log of x has a vertical asymptote at x equals zero. And I'll draw it in white here. It looks something like this. It crosses the x-axis at one. So when x is approaching 2 from the right, you can think of uh, x as being a number really close to 2, but bigger than 2, right? Because it's approaching from the right. If this is the real line, and this is 2, and this is x, see x is actually bigger than 2. So if you were able to stop at some particular point, maybe like 2.1, you could plug that in here. And what's going to happen is um, the closer that you get to 2, um, the smaller that this number will become, right? If you have 2.1 squared minus 4, that's pretty small. But if you have 2.001 squared minus 4, that's even smaller, right? Because you're getting closer and closer to 2. Eventually, if you got to 2, you would just get 0, right? We know that already. So the closer you get to 2 from the right, the smaller this quantity becomes. Now, if you look at the graph of the natural log, what does that tell you? Well, this is this piece here, which is called the argument. You can think of this whole thing as your x. And so you see the graph is going down forever. So the closer you get to zero, the smaller it becomes, the smaller the argument becomes, the smaller the y values become. So this limit is going to be equal to negative infinity. As x approaches two from the right, x squared minus four approaches zero from the right. And so the natural log of something approaching zero from the right is going to approach negative infinity. So kind of an interesting problem because there's no real algebraic way to do it other than to just think about it uh, like this. I hope this video has been helpful and hopefully you've learned some mathematics. Oh, let me, let me show you another way to do it. Oh, so I take that back. Let me just show you another way. So if you didn't like this numerical approach, here's another way. Let me just show you. So our limit is the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. There's another way to think about it, which, which you might find easier. What is x squared minus 4? Let's think about that. So here's the y-axis, here's the x-axis. So x squared minus 4 is a parabola that has been shifted down by 4. So this here is going to be negative 4, this dot here, and it's going to do something like this, and like this. And it's going to cross the x-axis at negative 2 and at 2, right? Because if you plug in negative 2 or 2 into x squared minus 4, you're going to get 0. So this is the graph of x squared minus 4. So as x approaches 2 from the right, okay, so you're coming onto 2 from the right, okay, in the red, so we're going approaching 2 from the right. The y values here, I'll draw them in white, the y values here are approaching 0. So x squared minus 4 is approaching 0. So same thing. This is getting really, really close to zero. And so what happens there? Well, same thing, go back to the graph of ln, it approaches negative infinity, and you get the same answer. So two different ways of thinking about the same problem. Hopefully this video has helped you learn some mathematics and it's helped someone in the world. Good luck, take care.